So if yesterday's video didn't ruffle some feathers, this one's <laughs> I'm gonna piss some people off. So I'm gonna start this video by saying I don't give a f how you sharpen your knives. If you wanna spend $10,000 on a sharpening setup, you know, and spend hours and hours sharpening your knives and stropping them and getting to a fine, fine, super razor edge, I'm for you, I'm with you, that's cool, do your thing. But this is for the regular dudes who don't really care if their knife is mirror polished, they don't care if their knife isn't as sharp as it could possibly be. They just wanna have an edge that cuts. So a guy come around today who was new to knife collecting, you know, he went out, he bought himself some ZTs, some spider codes, all that sort of stuff. And then he ran into a problem we had to sharpen them. And he, you know, went to YouTube, went to Facebook groups, and all that sort of stuff. And he started, you know, reading reviews, watching tutorials. And the thing about all of these tutorials is these guys sell sharpening stones. So they're gonna try and sell you on the most expensive stones and the most amount of stones. And he walked away with hundreds of dollars worth of sharpening gear. And then he came to me, you know, wondering why he wasn't getting very good edges. And I just sat down with him real quick. I ran him through sharpening, how it's done, all that sort of stuff. And we just used blowers for an edge. We just used his 400 grit stone. And he had a shaving sharp edge at the end of it. And he was like, he was a little bit upset actually. He was like, why did I spend all this money on all the high grit stones where really I just need a 400 grit stone. It does everything I needed to do. And I've wasted my money on all this, fit, this fancy stuff. If you just want to get a good working edge that you can shave with, that's quick, that's not going to take most how long, this is for you. So I do not sell anything to do with sharpening. I don't sell shrubs, I don't sell stones, I don't sell any jigs or anything like that. I exclusively sell knives. Now, I've had a full-time knife over five years, and I've also in that time sharpened knives professionally. So I just thought I'd go out and I'd make the cheapest sharpening setup I possibly could. So this is a very, very crappy stone. This is from a local hardware stone that saw it is not good. It is a diamond stone. It is, I, at a guess, I'd say 320 grit, maybe 400. It's absolutely garbage. I've super glued it onto this piece of wood just so I've got something to hold onto. This is a homemade strop. If you guys want, I can do a video how to make a strop, but honestly, it's very, very basic. It is timber with a bit of leather glue on top, and then we've got some buffing compound on there. If you want, you can go out and spend money on the shopping compound, but personally, I found that regular buffing compound from hardware stores, this is like 10 bucks for a brick like this, will last you your entire life. It's a whole lot cheaper, and it's probably 90% as good as a dedicated, uh, as a dedicated shopping compound. So what we're going to do here is I've got two knives here. One of them's in a softer stainless steel, which is 12C27, and one of them's in D2 steel. I'm just going to sharpen these knives up real quick. I'm going to try not to edit them, and we're going to sharpen up some knives. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to dull the absolute out of this knife. And as you can see, that is dull. Doesn't cut worth it, but Put a bit of time in it. Start to knock this edge back in. So what I'm doing right now is just forming a burr. Now, if you are more interested in seeing more sharpening content and what a burr is and why you want one, I can do a whole sharpening video, a whole sharpening series. If you guys are interested in that, if there's obviously no interest in that, I'm not gonna do it because there's obviously a whole bunch of guys out there doing sharpening stuff already. So at this point, I think we've formed our edge, and I don't want to edit this, I don't want to speed this up or anything like that. I want to keep this raw, so you know that I'm not bullshitting you, you know, you know I'm not like uh, sharpening this up off camera and then saying, oh no, look how sharp this knife is. No, this is real, no bullshit, no camera tricks or anything. Just straight up sharpening a knife as quickly as I can with the cheapest stone I can. A little bit more of the tip. We're just sort of refining our edge right now. A few more passes just because we can. We 
we're just going to strop it up. And this is going to clean up our edge, clean off any burrs, and get it to the point where it's shaving sharp, hopefully. And that is viciously sharp. That is, you would not hand this to someone, they're going to say it's a dull knife. So we'll just clean up some of that schmoo. That, right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a sharp knife. And now we just, I don't really have a whole lot of hair, but it is shaving my arm. So that is the first one, that is 12C27. Let's try something a little bit harder. Let's try D2 tool steel. Now D2 is a steel that a lot of guys have trouble sharpening with. And I can tell you the big issue with guys trying to sharpen steels like D2 is they don't spend enough time on their low grit stones. Low grit stones are what give you your foundation of sharpening. If you skip over your low grit stones, you're never gonna get a really, really good edge because this is what gives you foundation, this is where everything's built from. So let's do this again. One take, slightly different angle, let's keep it interesting. Let's dull this knife. Get it nice and dull for you guys. Now the thing a lot of guys seem to shy away from when they're sharpening, or a lot of guys seem to go wrong, is that they don't remove enough metal. You're sharpening a knife, guys. You actually need to remove metal. You need to actually do something. If you're sharpening and sharpening and sharpening, and nothing's happening, you're doing something wrong. You really shouldn't be spending more than half an hour at the very most sharpening a knife. It should be very quick. If you're spending a really long time sharpening a knife, you're not using a low enough grit stone. You're not being aggressive enough. Now this is different from knife maintenance. If you have a, a knife that's already sharp and you want to touch that edge up, this is not what you're going to do. This is a knife that's very, very dull, you know? And this is a more aggressive way to approach it. If you want to see what I do as far as knife maintenance goes, let me know. I can do a video on that as well. As you can see, we're very quickly putting that edge back on. And this is on a low grit, this is on a low grit stone guys, you know, there's nothing fancy about this. There's nothing hard about D2 to sharpen. It's, it may take a little bit longer depending on your setup, but there's nothing hard about D2 to sharpen. Now there's a lot of guys that say, oh, D2 doesn't get a great edge, you can't get a shaving sharp edge with D2. Buy one of my knives, they've absolutely got a shaving sharp edge on those knives. They will shave like you wouldn't believe. Now, they don't keep a shaving sharp edge as long as some other steels, but they'll keep an edge on there that will work for a really, really long time. They've got a very, uh, they're very carbide rich steel, which is what you want for actual use, you know, actually cutting something. May not be what you want for like Instagram photos and shaving, you know, shaving hairs and half lots of stuff, but for actually, you know, getting edge that can shave your arm and, uh, you know, cut your lunge, cut your boxes, all that sort of stuff, D2 rocks. Put a little bit more time in that. And one of the great things about diamond stones is they don't care what you're sharpening. They will cut through anything. They'll cut through and they'll sharpen everything like it's the same steel. It's gonna take a little bit longer if you're using an aluminum oxide stone or a ceramic stone or a, you know, a, um, a Japanese water stone than if you're using a diamond stone, but this is what I've got. This is what we're gonna show you. Now I highly suggest you guys go out there and you get a really, really good like low grit stone, maybe diamond if you can, otherwise like a, a good quality Japanese water stone or whatever you can get at like 400 grit. It's gonna serve you well, you're gonna use it a lot and it's gonna be your workhorse and your sharpening setup. And that feels viciously sharp. And we're just cleaning it up again, getting those burrs off. Just run through some pine just to be double sure. And it's shaving. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. We might actually hold it up to the lab mic. That's actually an awkward angle, but. It's shaving. And it's cutting up paper with no problem. 
as I royally <laughs> up. So yeah, it's not a very fine polished edge, you know, it's a very toothy edge, it's a very aggressive edge. It's great for, it's great for cutting your rope, your cardboard, you know, um, your sandwich, you know, just daily tasks. So there we go, guys. I'm not out here trying to say your way's wrong. As I said before, I don't care how you sharpen a knife. I just want to show you that it's possible and it's a really good option if you just don't want to spend a whole lot of money um, to sharpen your knife real cheap, really easy, not spend a whole lot of time. And just let guys know that it's okay to not spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a sharpening setup. You don't have to go crazy and get absolutely every single stone possible. All you really need is one, one stone, 400-ish grit, and a strop, and you can do damn near anything, you can sharpen damn near anything. Now, if you wanna go out and you wanna buy like a, a fixed angle sharpening system, like a, you know, Edge Pro or a TS Pro or a Wicked Edge, anything like that, those things are amazing. I highly recommend those things. I think they're great for the hobbyists. But yeah, it's just a, another option. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, you know, talking about sharpening, I'm happy to do a whole series. I just gotta know there's interest for it before I do it all. There's a whole bunch of guys out there already doing great sharpening content. So. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.